And we're going to find the exact values of x and y in each triangle using what we've done, okay, using all those derived special angle values. So the first one, we've got to find x and y. We can only really find one at a time. Remember, each time we make an equation, we've got to have one unknown in it. So we have this angle 30 here, okay? How am I going to find x or y? Hmm, we've just got to make a choice. Which one do you want to find first? Let's find x, okay, because it comes in the alphabet first. So we've got an angle 30, we have the opposite, and we don't know the hypotenuse. So opposite hypotenuse, which one are we dealing with? So opposite hypotenuse is sine. So I'm going to do sine 30. Sine 30 is opposite over hypotenuse. 5 over x. Now what we do is, okay, what was sine 30? You've got to go back and try and picture that triangle. Sine 30 is a half. So you replace sine 30 with 1 half equals 5 over x. And now we are just solving this proportion. How do you solve a proportion? Cross multiply. 1 times x, x. 2 times 5, 10. Okay, and we have x. x is 10. Does it look right? 5, x is much longer. Yes, that looks pretty good. Okay, so we've got x. We can write that in there. Now how are we going to find y? Well, you could use Pythagoras' theorem here. You could do 10 squared equals y squared plus 5 squared. Okay, but we want to use trigonometry. 30, we have 10. We have, you can, you can uh, take your pick here. You could do cos or 10. It's up to you. I might do 10. 10, 30 equals. So 10, 30 is opposite 5 over adjacent y. 5 over y. Then you've got to go, okay, what's 10, 30? Hmm, channel it in. 10, 30 is root 3 over 3. Okay, I actually did memorize that. They're not written over there. I did know that. And we cross multiply again. Y times root 3. Y root 3. I always say Y root 3 instead of root 3 Y because you don't want to get confused with... Um, the y being inside the square root. Okay, I usually put the y first. 3 times 5 is 15. So y equals 15 over root 3. And we've broken our golden rule again. We've got a radical in the bottom. Naughty, naughty. Let's multiply bottom and top by root 3, which will give us 15 root 3 over 3. And that will cancel. Uh, 3 goes into 3 once. 3 goes into 5. 5 times. I might write the answer over here. I don't want to. I'm going to use this space over here. y equals 5 root 3. Okay, and that is y is 5 root 3. Okay, so that's the first one done. And I remember um, in geometry, we had uh, that formula was, that's always a, that's always 2a, and this is a root 3, I think. What's a here? Obviously, a is 5. So if a is 5, what's 2 times 5? 10, that agrees. And if a is 5, we've got 5 root 3, which agrees. So let's forget about that one now. We are now on to B. We're going to find X and Y here again. Now this is kind of easy because what kind of a triangle do we have here? Well, this is 45, 90. If you do the angle sum of a triangle, you get this is 45 as well. So this is actually an, ice, uh, an isosceles triangle, which means X and Y are equal. Whatever X is or Y is, they're actually going to be the same. So all we need to do is just solve one thing here. Now we just need one equation. We've got 45, 45, you can pay, take your pick. I'll pick this one. 45, and we've got the hypotenuse. So we, you could use sine or cosine here. It doesn't really matter. We did sine here, we did 10 here. Let's do cosine. So cos 45, cos is adjacent x over hypotenuse 6. Cos 45, what is cos 45? Okay, I'm imagining those triangles. Cos 45 is root 2 over 2 x over 6. Cross multiply and we get 2x equals 6 root 2. Uh, divide both sides by 2. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. Cancel and we're going to get 2 goes into 2 once. 3. 2's cancel. x equals 3 root 2. And because x and y are the same, these are both going to be 3 root 2. So our answer is x and y are both 
3 root 2. And does this all agree with what we did in geometry? Uh, geometry said that if this is b and this is b, then this is b root 2. So b is 3 root 2. b is 3 root 2. So b is 3 root 2 times root 2, which is 3 times root 2 times root 2 is 2, which is 6. Yes, it works out. All right, so you've got to memorize sine, cosine, and tangent of 30, sine, cosine, and tangent of 45, sine, cosine, and tangent of 60. Okay, 